the, the human body in astrophysics is being studied that they have found only uh, six major atoms which build the whole human system. This is where alchemy comes. So glucose getting converted to adenosine triphosphate molecule which they call it as a high energy currency. Especially uh, carbohydrate food as their major food. So out of which if you see rice, wheat, milk and sugar is the four predominant uh, food that we produce. All four of them are carbohydrate, uh, out of which rice, wheat and uh, sugar is produced by agricultural field. In this day and age, we talk a lot about diabetes mellitus. So much that we have even given it a pet name, sugar, and accepted to treat it as a part of our lifestyle. Do I sound bitter? Maybe. But isn't that true? Would it help if we understand the mechanism of our cells and what causes diabetes to keep diabetes at bay? Hello and welcome to Dr. C.K. Nandagopalan YouTube channel. I'm your host Susan and I have here the star of the show, Dr. C.K. And welcome doctor, help us understand blood sugar. I don't know whether you want to understand blood sugar or you want to understand diabetes mellitus. If you want to understand diabetes mellitus, this word was coined long, long ago. Uh, you have about a history of... Uh, Can we three... start with cell mechanism? If that would be... No, better to know what is diabetes mellitus before you could go for cell mechanism. Okay, okay. Mellitus is the Latin word for honey which came much later. Diabetes is a word was properly defined and coined whatever 200-300 BC. Then a guy came uh, from the Persian region and his name was uh, uh, Aratius. He is from a city called Cappadocia from the Persian region. Persian region. This guy worked between uh, 008 to 80 to 130, that is uh, second uh, AD, second century AD. He is the first guy to give uh, a somewhat explanation for diabetes. Prior to that, uh, there are Ayurvedic explanations in uh, 600 and 700 BC. And prior to that, it was uh, uh, Egyptians who did it in uh, 1550 BC, that is 1550 BC. And prior to that, it was the ancient Tamil origin who gave a very vivid explanation of uh, pathological classification of 4,000 diseases out of which uh, the banner called Maganoi. Uh, this calls blood sugar as Madhumegam and urine sugar was uh, called as uh, Niri River. So the Tamil, Tamil origin, the Tamil civilization was the one who explained much vividly this because of uh, it, it's very clearly what I could understand is uh, maganir, that is the a particular part of uh, inflammatory part of your blood in which when the glucose gets dissolved, it's not absorbed by the, uh, by the human cells. So we start there. So back uh, in uh, 1674, uh, there's an European scientist or uh, medical personality called uh, Thomas Willis who brought this word mellitus, which is a Latin word, which means honey. So diabetes got connected to mellitus. However, uh, uh, in the last three to 3,500 years of all these kind of uh, anthropological evidences on this diabetes mellitus, we still have no cure. So the ancient Tamil had a better understanding of this. And, and, and those days they had some good amount of understanding and good amount of, uh, uh, you know, uh, pathological understanding and then um, a kind of uh, medicines what they had in the ancient time, they, which they could manage to resolve this uh, uh, imbalance of uh, glucose metabolism, which you call it as a sugar problem or whatever you call it. So, this is what is the a brief history of this diabetes mellitus. So, you want to understand the, self, uh, the, the cell mechanism, right? Yes, 
yeah self mechanism so cell cell mechanism is yeah the cell mechanism is uh, 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 the human body is very difficult to understand for us till now uh, you may see a lot of development in science with your uh, computer tomography and uh, magnetic resonance imaging and uh, you know all kinds of uh, um, uh, the biomedical uh, diagnostic parameters and so on but then uh, it's uh, till now it is a puzzle for us to understand what is the human cell mechanism whatever that we have understood so far in the modern science uh, we, we we are living through the era of modern science we are all a part of modern science modern science have put in a lot of effort in the last 100 120 years uh, to understand many things basis of uh, principles of science in every field uh, was uh, slowly uh, came up in the last 200 years biochemistry were started uh, uh, with a good speed in 1930 after 1970 and 1985 it has taken a very good speed and all that we understood is the cell mechanism of it. in each and every cell has as many organelles inside like DNA, RNA and mitochondria, lysosome and so on and so on. But then every cell for it to function, it need a fuel like how we, uh, you know, uh, run everything with electricity as a fuel and run all your uh, transport system with uh, fossil fuels as a fuel and whatnot. But then uh, cells require glucose. So this is uh, what is being clearly understood so far. So, so predominantly uh, it is correct with, with, with understanding of modern science in the sense uh, the, the human body in astrophysics is being studied that they have found only uh, six major atoms which build the whole human system. That is uh, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, uh, nitrogen, calcium and phosphorus out of which 92% is oxygen, hydrogen and carbon. So carbohydrate is nothing other than carbon, hydrogen and oxygen with one to one ratio. So, so the nature has given carbohydrate as our basic food because this fuel is required for uh, human cells to function. So, so what happens exactly to the glucose is, is it gets transported to each and every cell. We have approximately around 100 trillion cells in a human body in which every cell individually require glucose the transport system is arranged in such a way with our glucose metabolism that uh, that you, you all know that insulin transport whereas uh, glucose transport system is being studied as uh, glut 1 glut 2 glut 3 glut 4 glut 5 out of which only glut 4 is the one which supplies <coughs> glucose to the skeletal body and, uh, and and few of the organs is insulin dependent whereas glut 1, glut 2, glut 3, glut 5. Glut 5 is a, a sodium transport, glut 1, glut 2, glut 3 is a protein transport. So these glucose getting into our cells or getting connected with the phosphate crew and then uh, uh, it is a very very uh, intricacy vivid study that uh, there's, there's, there's a Krebs cycle in which the glucose which is C6H12O6 is broken to two called pyruvate. Then it becomes C, C, it becomes C3. So there's a nanotube which connects the mitochondria has two different uh, membrane uh, for itself. And it has a four compartment, uh, five compartment as C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, where these uh, pyruvates are sent inside through this nanotube. And uh, there's, a, there's, there's a something called electron transport chain what happens. Uh, all the electrons are run through these uh, five uh, highly complex which we are not able to understand till today, these protein chambers. It, it, is, it is a subatomic work. This is where alchemy comes. So glucose getting converted to adenosine triphosphate molecule which they call it as a high energy currency. This adenosine triphosphate, they have understood that by studying the cell mechanism, each glucose is converted to 38, 38 adenosine triphosphate uh, molecules, which are the high energy currency, which has the capacity to run the DNA and RNA, which is very important. They have the codings. So that's how the cell functions. So every cell individually requires glucose and without which 
they cannot function. This is, this is basically the cell uh, mechanism. But what we have understood so far is correct or not, there is a question mark there. Because there are differences of opinion when it comes to the question of the last 30 years of studies in the quantum biology by guys like Jack Cruz and all that stuff. You know, the, the explanation they give for ATP and, you know, and, and so many things are, are slightly varying from this. However, but the, the glucose is the fuel which is, which is very important. Uh, the, the carbohydrate is going to be uh, our major food, very well understood. But at the same time, geographically speaking, there are areas where people eat less of carbohydrates. Right from the time they were born, if you take Siberia and all that, they don't take much of carbohydrates. They take more of protein like fish and meat. And uh, they do, uh, uh, you know, live a healthy life. There is no, no two ways about it. But predominantly, the major population of the earth is, is, is having uh, especially uh, carbohydrate food as their major food. So out of which, if you see rice, wheat, milk and sugar is the four predominant uh, food that we produce. All four of them are carbohydrate, uh, out of which rice, wheat and sugar is produced by agricultural field, whereas milk is produced by the dairy field. This is how the whole, whole system, uh, you know, this, this satisfies uh, nearly more than 60% of our food need, uh, whereas vegetables, fruits, seeds, oil, uh, marine products, eggs, animals, bird meat and all those follows. So it, it equates around 40, uh, approximately around 40%. But predominantly we need carbohydrate for our basic food. This is how the whole cell mechanism functions as far as the modern science understanding till today is concerned. Is there any other questions you have? Uh, that's a great information, sir, and a very complex one. So I think this will be the first step to uh, understand diabetes and uh, keeping it away. Let's talk more about this in the next episode. Till then, it's your host Susan signing off. Subscribe, like, and share to the people you care. Love you all.